Our patient suffers from a rotator cuff problem or a so-called impingement syndrome. The problem is, what is the problem? Which muscle are we talking about? Are we talking about supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis? And even if we defined the muscle, which part of the muscle is at fault? Our functional examination is going to be very helpful. Let's imagine resisted abduction, a maximal isometrical contraction against resistance, is the main positive test. Then, of course, we think of supraspinatus. In combination with a painful arc and or end range pain on passive elevation, we think of the insertion, the tenoperiostal part of the supraspinatus. If the lateral rotation against resistance is the most painful test, then the first idea is going to be infraspinatus. Again, in combination with a painful arc and or end range pain at passive elevation. Let's imagine the resisted medial rotation is the most painful test, then your first idea is going to be subscapularis lesion. With a subscapularis, you can also have a painful arc. And the painful arc points in the direction of the cranial aspect of the insertion. If we find also clear pain on passive horizontal adduction, then we could think more of the caudal part of the insertion of the subscapularis which is useful information specifically regarding treatment techniques. And finally, if the resisted flexion is quite painful, of course we can think of a biceps lesion, but then there are several options. There could be a biceps lesion in the sulcus bicipitalis. There could also be an intracapsular lesion. But in this way, it is pretty easy to find our way and to determine the structure at fault in a very rapid and reliable way.